Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla probably made a tutorial video on using Powerwall as mobile power station after sending batch to Ukraine. Tesla FSD Beta 10.11 release notes, tease critical improvements. Tesla installing prefabricated superchargers at Giga Texas, as more than 400 Model Ys now sit outside the factory. And, Tesla lands quick EPA approval for new mysterious Model Y variant. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla probably created a tutorial video on how to set up and use the Powerwall as a mobile power station. The video came after the Tesla and SpaceX teams sent a batch of this equipment to Ukraine to ensure uninterrupted internet, which became a problem during the war. On March 8, Mobile Powerwall on YouTube posted a video demonstrating how to unpack, connect, set up, and use Powerwall as a mobile power station. Tesla has not officially stated that this video belongs to them, but it is likely it was recorded by the company's employees or someone who works with the manufacturer. The video is only available via a link and is not publicly available, but has been published by several news outlets in the US. Although the origin of the video remains unknown, it is sure to be extremely useful. After Russia's aggressive invasion of the territory of the sovereign state of Ukraine, the occupying forces continue to commit atrocities, destroying infrastructure, communication towers, and killing civilians. The whole world has united to support the Ukrainians and help them survive. Elon Musk's companies, Tesla and SpaceX, continue to provide as much assistance as possible. They have taken a number of measures, including the supply of SpaceX Starlink, Powerwall, and probably solar panels that will power them if there is no access to electricity. The video shows how you can deploy a mobile power station in minutes without actually taking the equipment out of the box. To do this, you need to get the cables and connect them together in the appropriate order. The video also demonstrates how solar panels can be easily connected to the power wall, which will charge the battery so you can get an independent power source, even in the field. In a previously published internal email, Tesla wrote the following. Tesla teamed up with SpaceX to provide coverage expansion for its Starlink services to help provide an alternative internet infrastructure. Volunteers across Giga Berlin and Germany service team responded quickly on Sunday to test, configure, pack, and ship several hundred Starlink units, which have already been gratefully received by Ukraine's digital transformation minister. In true Tesla fashion, the solution has been put together in less than three days. On top of this, the energy team supplemented the Starlink rollout with a fleet power walls. The system included PV inverters, given by our certified installer network, pre-made DC cables, given by one of our supercharger installation partners, and AC cables, made out of scrap from Giga Berlin. All of it assembled by a team of 40-plus volunteers from across the EMEA organization, committed to doing what they can to support. Moving to the next update, Tesla FSD Beta 10.11 release notes, tease critical improvements. The release notes for Tesla's full self-driving beta, version 10.11, hinted a number of critical improvements for the advanced driver assist software. Tesla FSD Beta 10.11 is rolling out to Tesla employees for the time being. However, if the system performs well, external users should receive the update within the coming days. There are several notable improvements outlined in FSD Beta version 10.11 release notes. Tesla stated that version 10.11 utilizes more accurate predictions of where other vehicles are turning or merging, reducing unnecessary slowdowns. The company also stated that version 10.11 should improve vehicles' right-of-way understanding, which should be invaluable in scenarios when maps turn out to be inaccurate. More importantly, FSD Beta version 10.11 featured specific improvements for vulnerable road users VRU. Tesla notes that the most recent version of FSD Beta should improve VRU detection by 44.9%, allowing the system to dramatically reduce spurious false positive pedestrians and bicycles. 
The company was able to accomplish these VRU improvements by increasing the size of its next-generation labelers. Tesla FSD Beta version 10.11 will likely be released as software version number 2022.4.5.15, as per reports from the online electric vehicle community. Tests of version 10.11 performance in real-world roads are typically shared by members of the company's FSD beta program within hours of the system's wide release. Moving to the next update, Tesla installing prefabricated superchargers at Giga Texas, as more than 400 Model Ys now sit outside the factory. With Giga Fest less than one month away, crews are continuing to put on some of the finishes at Giga Texas. The latest addition is a new set of 12 superchargers at the south end of the factory. Spotted in some recent drone flyover, Tesla is using three banks of prefabricated superchargers with four stalls each. Once up and running, this will double the number of superchargers. There is another station with 12 stalls on the east side of the factory where the Cybertruck was spotted plugged in earlier this year. Considering the ambitions and what we saw at the Tesla Giga Shanghai plant, the company might soon build much larger charging stations with 100-plus stalls. These new prefabricated superchargers are located just a few feet away from where Tesla has been parking newly built Model Ys, and the number keeps increasing with each passing day. Just over one week ago, there were more than 200, and as of this week, that number has now doubled to more than 400. All of them appear to be long-range variants, with both the 19-inch Gemini and 20-inch induction wheels. What we can notice is that basically all of the cars are black or blue. Tesla has already announced that the first cars delivered from Giga Texas will feature structural battery packs and 4680 cells. What they haven't announced yet is how they will differ, if at all, in terms of range and performance, compared to the existing 2170 cells. Moving to the last update, Tesla lands quick EPA approval for new mysterious Model Y variant. Tesla has evidently landed an EPA approval for a new variant of the Model Y all-electric crossover. A new 279-mile version of Tesla's most popular vehicle appeared on the EPA's fuel economy website recently, confirming the vehicle has been tested by the agency. We recently reported that Tesla was awaiting EPA approval of the Austin-built Model Y based on a company statement in the Q4 2021 shareholder deck. We reported that Tesla had received approval for previous Model Y variants, but not the new configuration that was set to be built at Gigafactory Texas. This model would equip not only Tesla's new 4680 battery cells, but also the structural battery pack. However, the new Model Y variant, according to fueleconomy.gov, only equips 279 miles of range, which seems to indicate that this is not the 4680-equipped Model Y that Tesla would be delivering to customers initially. In January, Tesla announced that it had produced its millionth 4680 battery cell at the Cato Road facility in Northern California. While this is an accomplishment Tesla was obviously proud of, it wasn't necessarily confirmation that the 4680 cells were ready to be equipped in a massive number of Model Y vehicles. 1 million 4680 cells would produce around 1,200 Model Y vehicles, according to industry researcher Benchmark Mineral Intelligence. The 279-mile rated Model Y that appeared on fueleconomy.gov could be an LFP, lithium iron phosphate cell version, which Tesla and other automakers have started to use for its standard range vehicles. The EPA received an application from Tesla on February 2, according to agency filings. The EPA then granted a certificate of conformity for this application on February 16, which could be an indication that Tesla has received approval to begin delivering this new, mysterious 279-mile Model Y variant. Interestingly, Tesla has also applied for another EPA certification of a Model Y variant. The application was submitted on February 23rd, but has not received a certificate of conformity, which would allow the car to enter the stream of commerce from the EPA as of March 13. As of now, 
Tesla does not have a 279-mile variant of the Model Y listed on its design studio. Only the long-range all-wheel drive and performance variants are available to order. However, it could begin to offer the variant in the coming days, especially if the company plans to roll out a new standard range configuration that could equip LFP cells. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.